Ooh, 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 look at this bad boy. Look at that, look at that. Oh, amazing. So is the best part about having curly hair, you just go, boom. Hello, my name is Marie and I'm gonna show you how to save your curls after you damage them with bleach. This is what will save your curls. It's the Apogee two-step protein treatment. You can get the full size bottles like I did, but I've also gotten the little packets. I'll put a picture right here for you so you can see. And they're pretty cheap. I'll put the price right there for you too. The first thing you're gonna wanna do, get your hair clean. We need to get all the buildup out of our hair. So let me just take my hair down. Here's my hair. Here is my hair. We're struggling. Like, as you can see, I have a very fine hair texture. And I mean, this is day five hair, so naturally it gets a little bleh after a while. But let me see if I can get, there has to be like one or two good curls in here. I guess not. <laughs> okay, well, what we're going to do is hop in the shower, wash our hair, use whatever shampoo you got. Um, I suggest not using a sulfate shampoo for now, just because our hair is already so dry. It's stripped of any moisture, any protein that we need all the moisture we can get. And sulfate's not gonna help us during this time. It's just not. <laughs> I'm gonna cleanse using the Cantu Cleansing Cream Shampoo. Really, really cheap, really good. I, tried, I, started, I started using the whole line like a month ago and I really like it. There's no sulfates, no parabens, no silicones, no mineral oil. I don't even know what that is, but it's not in here, so I guess that's okay. You're going to wash off your hair, put this in, detangle your hair as you do, and then rinse it all out. We'll come back, and then we will start the process, okay? I'm back, and I have my hair in a regular old towel because you don't want your hair to be soaking wet. You just want it slightly damp. Then, we're gonna section. So I typically just do top and bottom, but you do whatever your little heart desires. We're gonna do one final pass through with the brush. Again, I detangled in the shower. Okay. Oh, uh-oh. There we go. <laughs> it wouldn't open. So we're gonna take a generous amount. It's very, oh, it's very liquidy, like it's super duper runny. It also doesn't smell good. Please keep that in mind. This does not smell pleasant. It smells like sadness. What you're gonna do, take the one section, mix it in your hands like so. I love that sound. Then you're just gonna, you know like how those YouTubers, they kind of smooth it through when they're doing like, you know, they're styling. Do that first. Do that, pretend you're a hair guru or something. Then rake it through and I'm brushing it through my hair. So I'm feeling my hair, it's still damp, like you can hear it. I'm gonna put just a bit more in and I'm gonna leave it alone. So just rake it on through. I'm not really focusing so much on the roots just because I have like that much of growth, which is great. So it doesn't really need to focus there. Where it needs to focus is all these blonde pieces that are insanely damaged. So just keep on brushing. Make sure it's all the way through. All right. All right. Now we're gonna do the top section. Let me just situate my towel. My hair is parted like this because that's just how I did it. So you can either do it straight down the middle, side part, doesn't matter, you're gonna wash it out later. Pour, healthy amount. What do people mean when they say a healthy amount? I don't know why I just said that, but like, I've definitely heard that saying before. All right, and again, ends because they're, they're hurting, they're not well. And then kind of work your way up. Brush it through again. We want it evenly distributed, all that good stuff. You don't want some parts of your hair to, you know, have all this great protein in it and then other parts to not. Because then when you wash your hair out and you style it, your hair's gonna look wonky. And we don't do wonky. 
Perfect. All right, it's all in there. Flip it to the back. Now here is the final side that we're going to do. Please. I could feel it, it definitely needs a little bit more. And keep in mind, because this product is so watery, it does feel like, it feels like water in your hair. But you'll kind of notice where those dry parts are in your hair, especially if you have really high porosity, like I do. Your hair dries really, really fast. So you'll kind of, you'll kind of feel where you're missing a bit. All right, there we go. Every time, every time. There we go, beautiful. Oh, it's gonna look so good. All right, so this next step, you need a blow dryer. So grab whatever blow dryer you have, put a diffuser on it, and I'm using this Dyson blow dryer. It's got that little pink thing in the back, which is kind of nifty. I did not pay $500 for this thing. I paid 100. And how I did that, just in, ca in case you're wanting one of these, because I was so curious, um, if you go on eBay and you search for a refurbished Dyson blower, they got them, they got them there. So maybe it's a scam, maybe it's not the real thing, but it says Dyson all over it and it came with all the paperwork and stuff like that in the box. So I think it's legit, but yeah, it's like a hundred, 150 bucks, which is still expensive for a blow dryer, but it's not 400, $500. So keep that in mind. All right, so what you're gonna do, you're gonna put your blow dryer on high airflow and medium heat. And while you're blow drying it, you're gonna try to not agitate the hair. Don't be, you know, scrunching it, you know, and all that stuff like you're diffusing it. You are just trying to dry it. You are, that's all you're doing. The hair is gonna become extremely hard. It's gonna be more fragile, more delicate. So you are literally just going around your hair like that. Kind of making like an O, all right? I mean, you can hold it on one spot for a little bit, but keep it going, keep it going until your hair is completely dry. Look at these kind of kind of curls. They're trying. Like you can see, look at that. Look at that. Look, he's trying, he's trying. The end, the end is not there, but ha ha ha, we got an S. Cool. Now that we have the protein treatment fully dried in our hair, it's gonna feel like you have a cast on your hair. Kind of like if you use the Diva Curl gel and you blow dry your hair and then it's, it's really hard and crunchy. It's just like that. All right, so I follow up the protein treatment with the Affigy Balancing Moisturizer. So first things first, wash your hair, get all of the protein out, and then section by section, apply this bad boy. Now the directions say to leave it on for two minutes. Um, for me personally, with how damaged my hair is and how much protein my hair needs, I need to leave this on longer. I cannot, two minutes is nothing. So I'll probably try to leave this on for maybe five minutes at least, and then wash this out. Then I'm gonna follow up with this bad boy. This is a 10 out of 10 product. If you have, if you have no moisture in your hair, well, haha, <laughs> say goodbye to that because you're gonna get it now. So this is the Manuka Honey and Mafura Oil Intensive Hydration Hair Mask. I got this at Target. Um, it's great. No, I didn't. I did not get this at Target. I got this at Walgreens. It says so on the bottom. So I'm going to apply this section by section to my hair, um, leave it in for about 15 minutes, rinse it out, and then style my hair as normal. And then I will be back with the final results for you. All right. So here are my final results. I styled my hair. I let my hair sit in a cotton t-shirt for about 15 minutes. And then I diffused till about... 90% dry and then just left it alone. And here we are. As you can see, the curls, they're coming back slowly but surely. All right, let me find a good one. So 
they're starting to clump again, which they weren't doing before. So this is very exciting. So I'm gonna gently pull that apart so we can kind of see. Look at that, we're starting to get a curl. So here you can kind of see these front curls are doing well. They're starting to kind of curl up like they used to. Right now they're kind of like a fun little wave. They're like eh, eh. Kind of like what you do, you know those people that have those, um, like a crimper sort of thing? It kind of reminds me of that. Like eh. I don't know what that sound effect was, but eh. Like look at that. No, hair move. As I'm like pulling it. But look how much coiled up, like look how it's coiling up. It's not so long, it's very, this one's still pretty loose. I mean, it has so much blonde in it. It's not as coiled still. Ooh, okay, well, we just separated that one. Compared to like this bad boy down here. Wow. Look at him thrive. Look at that coil that wasn't there before. Yeah, so 10 out of 10 recommend. If you've bleached your hair, particularly if you've bleached your hair and it's gone wrong and then you had to bleach it again in like eight days, this might be a good option for you. <laughs> We're getting there. We're getting there. After not treating my curls so nicely, we are on a journey. We're on a, not a journey, we're on a mission to get these curls back to where they came. So thank you so much for watching. Once again, my name is Marie and I'm going to be posting weekly videos on my YouTube channel every Wednesday. So if you'd like to see more on how I continue to turn my hair from fried and dead to its former glory, please like, comment, subscribe, turn on that notification bell, and I will see you next Wednesday. Bye guys. Okay, now my hair is fully dry. Wh why? Right when I start the video? Right when I start. That is so rude. Go away. Do it, jump on the table. Yep. There she is. All right, so if you've ever used, man, if you've ever used the Diva Curl, um, hi, how are you? Hello, okay. Okay, I am back. My hair is, what? Dude, shush, hi.